Welcome you guys to Butler Kennel Rockwallers Band. I cannot tell you, I cannot tell you guys how excited I am. We have puppies, as you can see. Beautiful, beautiful puppies. Something else you guys, I uh, know a lot of you guys don't know about all my dogs. Um, people always, I was always asking me a lot of different questions and one of the questions is, do you sell dog with tails and all this kind of stuff? A lot of people don't know that my dogs, some of them have a tail. <laughs> She's imported as well from Serbia. So this here is Serbia. Not that, sorry, this is not Serbia. This is she's imported from Serbia. Um, and we have beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pups. I'm telling you, gotta get the lighting on that one right. But we'll get the lighting later. Right now, I'm gonna give you guys exactly what you guys are waiting for. Some beautiful pups. Let's get all. Let's get everybody snuggled up next to mom. One back here. That's it. What's up, mama? What's up, mama? Now, a lot of puppies, a lot of moms do not allow people to really be interactive as much with their pups. I know a lot of times you see breeders, they show you the after part of the dog that's already had the puppies. And see, what she's doing now is adjusting herself so that way she can get. What she does is she adjusts herself to adjust her body so that all of her teeth are exposed. So all the puppies will be able to latch on and everything else. So, but this is her very first litter um, as well. This is her very, very first litter. Awesome mom. I ain't no mama. So now, even with first times moms and all that kind of stuff, what you want to do really is keep an eye out for the mom and the pups. Keeping an eye out more for the pups and the mom is not really an issue. But you want to keep an eye on the mom to make sure that she's not laying on the pups. Now, a lot of times um, when people have pups, they're like, oh, I wonder why I left for about an hour and I came back. One of the puppies were deceased, um, which is a sad thing to happen. You don't want right now. Every last one of her puppies have made it. She's oh, see, she's wanting to adjust with the puppy. Oh. Keeping them up here. There we go. There we go. Um. So these puppies here are all have made it, which is a blessing in itself. Let me adjust this. I don't need to adjust it, I'll leave that out with the pups, actually. So you guys can get the C. Boom. There we go. So these pups have actually all made it. They're all here. They're all good to go. Um, I don't know what I want to do, y'all. I'm just all over the place. It is late as late as I don't know what at night. This is another one of the little boys. Show you guys that boy. Look at that little boy. Just a more. Look how big this joke is, man. Just that couple hours being born. Not even the biggest one. Which you know I don't really care about the biggest one, but let's go another one. Look how big that joker is. Say hi. And you want to handle these little jokers with care, man. This is a female actually. Got a little female in there. There we go. Sorry, I don't mean to expose you like that, but come on, what you doing? We're checking the camera out. Wanna see what the camera's like? I see. This is the part where you gotta be very careful of. You don't want mom stepping on the puppy when he's trying to get there. She won't do it intentionally, but sometimes mom can step and wanna get, she wanna get all in there with the puppies and get them all snuggly and stuff with this here as well. So when doing so, make sure mom is relaxed and very comfortable with what you want her to be. And she should be able to trust you. If your dog is growling at you and don't want you near, you don't wanna stress the mom and dog out. She wants to lick it, see? And I'll tell you, when the mom is actually cleaning the puppy, 
um, when the mom is actually cleaning the puppy. When the mom is cleaning the puppy, what that really does is it stimulates the puppy's uh, system to want to use the bathroom and all that kind of stuff. It initiates it. So it helps the puppy stay regulated and all that kind of stuff as well too. So don't be alarmed when the mom is cleaning the puppy and the puppy uh, uses the bathroom or whatever. That actually helps them to use the bathroom as well. Um, also, make sure that your mom knows that, make sure the mom knows that she's comfortable and loved and she got help, right? Look at the camera, see that? Look at that camera. No, look at the camera. Look. See the camera? Look, look like, what's up? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> the love of this dog, you know what I'm saying? Love of all our dogs. So, but, I don't forgot what I was saying back and forth, you guys. Hopefully you won't forgive me. But, um, I got excitement going on, make sure she's good, puppies are all good. Um, now, normally what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna help force her to lay down a little bit more. Cause like I said, this is her very first time. Don't expect mom to get everything right the first time. Sometimes a little guidance is always good as well. Now, sometimes you get mom that just hits it off the bat, got everything done right. Perfectly fine. See how she did that? She don't, she was trying to jump to get away from. Don't knock my tripod over now. Come on. What you gonna do? Okay, she's nestling in this little area here. This is the new little spot for her. So what she's gonna do is get comfortable, come over there, get here, and all that kind of stuff. But she'll settle down a little bit. Um, like I said, for this camera, the reasons is why it's new for her right now. Um, but she is totally good. She'll get close to them. She'll snuggle up close to them, which is good. She'll clean them like she's doing now. Like a little commentator on uh, Nat Geo. You know how they do that and just whatever. <laughs> I'm silly. But, um, but she'll get them adjusted. Now, I haven't intervened yet in doing all this stuff here because I wanted to get comfortable first. A lot of times I'm like, Tony, why don't you just help her out and put on the puppies and all that kind of stuff as well? And everything else you can but I like to get moms adjusted first and you know get her settled a little bit first before we do anything else now back to the subject with her is Anyway, you guys, when you have your pup, make sure that mom is good and keeping them in the area of maintaining all sites of all the puppies and everything else. What I like to do first of all, when you have puppies, let them just be for a little bit. Let them, if they get on her and start nursing, that's fine. If she goes nursing them immediately, let them nurse immediately. Now, see that leg out of the way, trying not to step on any of them. That's an awesome sign. Now what I'm gonna show you in a little bit is me, See, she's coming now and just trying to get close to them. Wait. Okay. And always keep an accurate count on your puppies. Make sure, like, one, two. There we go. Okay, so now she got them all close. So now what I'm gonna do is, now this is the part where I'm telling you what I normally do with my pups, right? So, I'm gonna put my belt in my paint. Sure pants because it keeps coming up. I know it looks tacky as well, but I'm home, so no one can see. And I want to be exposed. Okay, so here we go. So now here comes the fun part, right? What I like to do with my pups. I'll get them all like this, roll her a little bit. Get all the puppies clear first. Keep a count. Okay. Got everybody. So now we got everybody. So now I pull this teats over here up because the side she's laying on, normally those teats are always the ones that's laying on the ground. And depending on how many puppies you have, you want to make sure they all are fully exposed. Or make sure mom feels comfortable first, right? So mom's still feeling comfortable. Now I will go here, get them all still close to her, let mom know everybody's going to be crying at first. Now it's going to feel a little abnormal for mom. A little, 
these little jokes with that nursing on her and all that kind of stuff as well, which is totally fine. She's going through a little, you'll see her jump up a little bit at the puppy, not attacking the puppy, but kind of getting up like, what are you doing type of thing. Now this is her first time, this is the puppy's first time nursing right now, so they haven't nursed yet. So you guys have seen this for the very first time as well. So what I do now is I'll make sure mom is actually comfortable, which she seems pretty comfortable. Some moms are already tired. I'm gonna push all these puppies out. You be tired too, right? So what I do is I always like getting them close to it first. Get them a little closer, get a little. Some puppies are gonna naturally just automatically just start latching on, which is perfectly good. You'll see that hear these little noise crying in a little bit, they're gonna actually stop for a second. You see what I'm saying? So they're gonna actually stop for a second. So what I'm gonna do is they're gonna stop once they get their latch on milk. Uh, there we go. Get one. That's one. All right, see that? So what I do is I put my little finger in their mouth, like the little mouth here. I put a finger in their mouth, open it up a little bit while grabbing a teeth, the nipple of the mama dog, and I stick it in the puppy's mouth while it's just expressing a little bit of a uh, milk or colostrum. Because the first thing the puppy's gonna have is colostrum. Now colostrum is very very important for the dogs, uh, for the puppies. Um, is it helps fight off bacteria and all that kind of stuff there. So it's not going to be as thick as milk. So don't be worried like, oh my God, it's not milk. It looks clear and all this kind of stuff here. When you see, when you see the little clear liquid, that's perfectly fine. Now, eventually it's going to turn to milk, right? Um, but just don't try to express off the colostrum because like I said, it's very, very important for the dog as well too. All right. So we got one latched on so far. Some might be latched on too as well, but the one that's going to be helped. So what I do is, Make sure the mouth is clean. And before you do anything too, please wash your hands before you start sticking your hand in the puppy's mouth or if you need assistance or whatever. Some people wear gloves. I like to just have my hand. I like, I don't, I don't wear gloves. That's just me, but sometimes, I mean, some people may call it what you want. This is, this is my bond, so, you know. So, I go over here. Now, starting with the second one. I'm gonna put it on here. I didn't express any milk first, so now I'm gonna open it up. Spread some milk into it. There we go. And bam, look at that. That boy's a pro. Might have been, might have done this a few times, right? I don't know. But that's two on there so far. So these ones aren't, okay, I'll put it in front of her so she don't get up. So see, none of these are actually on, right? The only one that's actually latched on right now are these two here. Oh, one of these two. Let's get back on. Damn, there you go. Damn, there we go. Hold up, she got it. She got it. You got it. You got it. Okay. There we go. Oh. Now don't be too alarmed if they start and they get off and they stuck. I don't, I don't want to be concerned when none of them have ever tried to latch or, you know, when puppies aren't latching at all. Um, and sometimes they need a little assistance for a little while. So, you know, and you see this, I'm just on a third puppy right now, which I'm not going to do the whole entire little on camera right now, getting everyone to latch. But, so you guys understand, it's just not... It's not like it's gonna be, um, 
got puppies, mama just know what they're doing, and your puppies on there. No, it's a lot of work that goes into this thing as well. And the dedication that's really, really important. Like I said, sometimes some moms latch on perfectly just fine. Sometimes puppies don't want to act right. Sometimes mom don't want to act right. And sometimes it's just perfect. Like you get really lucky. Um, one of the best things to do is have a mom that trusts you. If you have a dog that doesn't want you to get near her puppies and I've never had that before, so I don't know, but you want that trust. You want her to feel comfortable because if she's relaxed, she's going to get that energy to her puppies and the puppies going to start feeling that as well too. Right, mama? Right? I know. You did good, mama. You did really good. So, now, everybody's going to latch on, which is good. This one on this one. Now always work your way from the bottom to the top, right? Damn, look at that. Oh. Mm. Make it feel like I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. Come on, are they watching y'all? Y'all watching y'all? There you go. There you go. Come on. There you go. There you go. Look at that. I see that. I see that. <laughs> Little milk dog. Okay, see, sometimes they're going to be looking for it, which is fine. Sometimes you need a little assistance. I like to start off from the bottom because if you do the puppies on the top, then you go to the bottom, the bottom row. It makes it more difficult. Get everybody in the bottom row fine. Then the ones on top, that one can be set on top much easier. So now I'm gonna move her. Okay. See what I did? Just bumped up a little bit. That way everybody can be more exposed. See that? Colossal. Look, not as big as regular milk's gonna be, but it's very, uh, very, very, uh, creamy looking, I guess. Another thing is, too, is big, important, big, very, big, important. When you're having puppies, right? Don't just put the biggest one on first and, oh, it's the biggest and it's be good because I want to see the biggest one get bigger and everything else. I personally, like to make sure the smallest latch on first. Let that one get the milk first. Um, they all may seem very healthy, but it's just a preference of mine. I always let the first one eat first or whatever, or try to make her, make him or her latch on first so that way the puppies get there, they're good to go and all that kind of stuff as well, right? So, um, yeah, man, I'm happy. March 1st, this is, bam, this is me. So it is about, it's late as crap up right now, so it might be late. Um, what's up, big mama? What's up? So she is directly imported as well, too. The father is an import as well, too. Um, yeah, so. I don't know. Tell you guys anymore, man. I just, I know you guys really do love to see the dogs. Let me just try to get this a little closer for you guys. Hmm. Let me just turn this. Bam! What's up, mama? She's gonna turn it up. Oh, oh, oh. Kick the puppy and all, man. See, she's she's trying to get rolled to the back so she can get the puppies, which is fine. Like I said, sometimes you just gotta be a little careful with the mom. She's like, Dad, come help me. So, without me being on this camera the whole entire time, I am now going to assist her in making sure that she's good. And I hope you guys understand. If not, then you guys understand anyway. But I have a lot of loving guys, man. I know you guys want to see the best for these puppies. And um, please, don't call me up. These litters are already sold out, okay? Don't, they're not, they're already sold out. I'm not even going to even pretend and be like, oh. I tell everybody every time, my puppies are always sold out before they're born. So please understand that. They are sold out before they're born. And um, so, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Hi, man. So I'm going to get to these things here as well, man. We got some puppies coming uh, um, take care of. So you guys be blessed to each other, right? And I hope you guys enjoy. Boom, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Remember that. Treat each other well. Take care.